It's our hope that you all leave here knowing so much more about these amazing animals and have a renewed respect for the oceans and the waterways that we share with them. Well, let's get things started by introducing you to some of the dolphins that we care for each and every day. Coming up, first on your right and again in the center, this is Starbuck and Beretta. Now, Starbuck and Beretta are both bottlenose dolphins, which are just one of the many different species of whales and dolphins, also known as cetaceans that you can find right along the Florida coast. All of the dolphins you'll be meeting today were born within our SeaWorld parks, and they range in ages from 17 all the way up to 44 years old. After today's presentation, be sure you visit us right next door at Dolphin Cove so that you guys get a chance to get an even closer look and learn a lot more about this amazing marine mammal. Well, now that we've met some of our pods, let's dive right in and talk about what makes dolphins so cool. Nature has provided them with some amazing adaptations that allow them to navigate, forage, and play. Like the blowhole located on top of their head. That is where they breathe air from, of course, but it's also where they communicate to each other and make a variety of vocalizations. So let's listen in. Dolphins use that blowhole to make an airtight seal so that they can hold their breath while foraging for their prey. Their prey largely consists of fish, squid, and the occasional crustacean. And in order to catch it, they use their powerful tails to reach speeds of up to 22 miles per hour. They also use that same powerful tail to get a better look above the surface and get up and out of the water. You know, getting to interact with dolphins like this can bring out the child in any of us. And childhood memories often last a lifetime. That's why today we're hoping to inspire a young SeaWorld guest in much the same way many of our animal trainers are inspired on their first visit to SeaWorld. Hi there! What's your name? Michael, it's so nice to meet you. Where are you from? He's from home. <laughs> Where are you guys from? They're right here from Orlando, Florida. Let's give them a nice big Sea World welcome. Well, Lord, Michael, today you're going to be helping me share with everyone how we build friendships or relationships with the dolphins. But to do that, we are going to have to get a little closer. So let's take a few steps here, all the way up to that 20, <laughs> 24 foot doll drop, drop off. <laughs> Now, this is my best friend, Diego Michael, and one of the best ways to meet a dolphin is by shaking his flipper. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take your hand, and Diego's gonna come up to shake your hand. So Michael, meet Diego. Diego, meet Michael. That was great! Yeah! You know, another great way to get to know a dolphin is by feeding him some fish. So I'm gonna hand you fish, and you can throw it right into his mouth. Yep, just a toss. Perfect, here you go. The other hand, there you go. What kind of fish are these, Michael? Dead. <laughs> You're right, they are dead fish. <laughs> these are actually called Caitlin, and Diego will eat up to 20 pounds of it every single day. Oh no, Michael, look at your hands. Those are fish guts. Smell them. Ew. <laughs> Don't worry, I know how to get rid of it. Put your hands out like this. Put them together. Rub them faster. Even faster. The dry mop. <laughs> you might be local, but I think that's going to be a long ride home. <laughs> you know, Michael, Diego also really enjoys a nice back massage. So why don't you kneel down on the floor, just like me, both knees down. Perfect. And you can give him a nice rub right on his back. Keep going. What do you think he feels like? He does feel like a dolphin. <laughs> I would agree with that. <laughs> Dolphins are very sleek and smooth and allows them to swim quickly through the water. But guess what? I know a secret. Diego has a tickle spot right there. Go give him a little tickle tickle. Yep, good. 
This is what 